Hi everyone. In this video, I would like to talk about one of the features that we have in Citrix Virtual Apps and Desktops. It is uh, machine catalogs, if you see on the left hand side. So, machine catalogs is uh, one of the important features that we have in Citrix uh, Virtual Apps and Desktops. So, let's say in your uh, Citrix environment, if you have uh, client operating systems or server operating systems let's say client operating systems it could be windows 8 or windows 10 and when it comes to server operating systems uh, it could be uh, windows server 2012 2012 r2 2016 2019 or whatever it is okay so if you want to uh, create these machines if you want to have all these uh, machines in a single group okay so it is called catalog so a catalog can have a group of virtual machines it could be client operating systems like windows 10 or server operating system like windows server 2012 or 2012 r2 or 2016 okay so basically you should have only one operating system in a catalog so if a catalog has uh, 10 machines the 10 machine should be windows server 2012 or windows server 2012 r2 so we shouldn't have both operating systems windows server 2012 and 2012 r2 in a single machine catalog so it has to be only one operating system okay so basically uh, machine catalog is a group of uh, virtual machines or desktops or whatever you call it and uh, yeah so under machine catalogs you have three options one is uh, client operating systems and the other one is uh, server operating systems and the third one is remote pc access so the remote pc access is a special concept that we have in uh, citrix environments let's say if you have uh, some physical machines in your office or in your data center and you have some users who are working from home or working from other locations and uh, if they would like to connect to the office machines if they would like to connect to their office machines they can still do it they can connect to uh, those machines using this uh, citrix environment so the request has to go through the controller to reach those uh, uh, remote pc physical machines basically okay so one thing that we need to uh, keep in mind is that when users want to access this uh, remote PC machines uh, which are in the office these machines have to be turned on all the time otherwise uh, you know at any point in time if the power goes off or if there is some issue then uh, users will not be able to access these remote PC access machines through Citrix so you have to make sure that uh, these uh, PCs that are in the office they have to be turned on all the time and for whatever reason if it goes down then you know users will not be able to access so you know this is a short introduction about machine catalog it's uh, a group of desktops or a group of virtual machines or whatever you call it so let's say if you want to create machine catalog i'm clicking on machine catalog here it is going to take some time so please bear with me Okay, now it says machine catalog is a collection of physical or virtual machines that you assign to users. You create catalog from master image or physical machines in your environment. Important, the master image or physical machine that you use to create a catalog must have a VDA agent installed. Also ensure that operating system is up to date and the applications are installed. Okay, so basically we are going to use the image. Okay, we are, we are going to use the image to create these machines basically. So let's say, uh, I'm going to click next. So as I just discussed right now, so we have three types of uh, options that we have in uh, while creating machine catalog. One is server OS, which could be Windows Server or Linux operating systems and the desktop OS. It could be Windows 8, Windows uh, 10, like that. And remote PC access is a physical machine. Basically, it says the remote PC access machine catalog provide users with remote access to their physical office desktops allowing them to work at any time so that's what i was saying a minute ago so people who are um, uh, working remotely can access to this uh, 
PC machines which are in office and they can work anytime. So I'm just going to select desktop OS just to you know show you some options. Okay, I'm going to click next. So it says this machine catalog will use machines that are power managed. For example, virtual machines or blade PCs, machines that are not power managed. For example, physical machines. So mostly we are going to uh, you know uh, use virtual machines. So the first option needs to be selected. Depends upon your requirement. Machines that are power managed. Okay and uh, you know you have three three types of deployment methods one is uh, citrix machine creation services and the other one is citrix provisioning services or pvs and the other one is another service or technology so it depends upon the environment so mcs means machine creation services it uses a lot of storage uh, citrix pvs is um, uh, it's uh, it's a very special technology uh, you can stream the VDisk or the virtual disk over the network to the target devices and you need not uh, have a lot of storage uh, unlike machine creation services and the network has to be really really good to have a good provisioning services uh, environment so these are some things that you can see okay I'm going to click next Okay, it says which desktop experience do you want users to have? I want users to connect to a random desktop each time they log in or I want users to connect to same static desktop each time they log in. So you have two different options here. So if you select random desktop, so what happens is user will not be able to connect to the same machine again. So let's say if user connects to machine two now today, tomorrow he's going to connect to four or six, something like that. So when it comes to if you select I want users to connect to same static desktop each time they log in. So if you assign let's say a fourth machine to a user out of 10 machines. So the user would be connected to the same machine again and again every time he connects to the VDI. OK, so do you want to save any changes that the user makes to the desktop? So yes, create a dedicated virtual machine and save changes on the local disk. No, discard all changes and clear the virtual desktops when the user logs off. So it depends upon your requirement. You can, uh, if you want, you can uh, uh, you can make the user save the uh, information uh, after the work is done. When, once the user uh, log off from the machine, or you can simply uh, create an option where you can just discard all the details uh, so that. Uh, you know user will not be save any information on the VDI okay so you can select the appropriate option here so let's click next so here it's uh, it's a place where you need to select your image so this was the image that I have already created so I can select it uh, so if you have uh, if you have a different image you, it would be uh, reflected here and you can select their particular image and click next okay so here is a place where you have to uh, uh, assign the resources so if you want to um, uh, create uh, let's say if you want to create four virtual machines you can select four virtual machines here and if you want to create four virtual machines you have to make sure that you have enough resources in your environment okay so so let's say if you have uh, four, if you want to create four virtual machines and if you want to assign two uh, two GB to uh, each virtual machine, then you have to make sure that you select eight thousand here, something like that. And if you want to assign a personal V disk to that uh, virtual machine to those machines, you can assign uh, ten GB and you can click next. So I'm going to get an error, I guess, mostly it's because I don't have resources. So Yes, so this is the place where you can select uh, the Active Directory accounts. You can select the particular uh, OU uh, where you can uh, have these machines. So once you select it, you can just go ahead and click Next. OK, so once you uh, go ahead and click Next, if you have enough resources available in your environment, it would uh, create those machines it could be five machines or 10 machines or 15 machines based upon your requirement if you have enough resources but any point in time if uh, if uh, you know if it fails in the middle for whatever reason then you have to troubleshoot and see why it is failing maybe it is because of you have uh, less memory or less storage or uh, 
uh, any other thing. So basically, you need to troubleshoot and find out why it is failing. So yeah, these are some things that uh, we need to uh, do while creating machine catalog. So once the machine catalog is created, uh, basically this uh, creation of machine catalog would take at least uh, 30 minutes to 40 minutes time. So um, once the machine catalog is created, you can uh, assign those. Uh, you can use the delivery groups basically to assign applications uh, to the users. But before that, you need to create machine catalogs. This is uh, really important. So I hope you uh, I just gave a quick introduction of machine catalogs and I hope you find this information helpful. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.